welcome back to the breeding project part 3 and now we will really see some actual spawning footage in this video let's have a quick look back at what happened during part 2 just to give you a quick recap we introduced the two Sanka from breeder Sakai in the breeding tank now being together there with a female question we actually didn't have success in the first night but there was plenty of indication that breeding would start soon so we have really good hope for the second night we already saw some very strong indications that breeding is likely going to happen so we are all set for the next night welcome to part 3 again it is 11 pm since the night is almost falling it is actually my last chance to have a good view on the spawning tank to see what is going on there so of course I'm here again to do a good check we can still see some good indications for spawning the males really can't stop following the females so let's see what is going to happen this night and let's hope we can actually see some actual spawning This is actually really great. Can you see that the males are now already bumping into the female koi? So do we need any more indication that spawning is going to happen? I will actually now show you a little bit more of video footage I managed to capture before the night really fell. Because now it is still a little bit possible to see it quite good, but when it gets darker it becomes more difficult. So all of these signs are really good indication that spawning is going to happen this night. And actually that splashing sound is really what a breeder is wanting to hear. The males bumping into the female koi, trying to push into her belly and then to get up to release the eggs. But what I actually didn't really understand is, about 15 minutes later it became completely silent and it looked like everything stopped. I was a little bit worried that maybe because of my light or something that I stopped the ritual and that I stopped the spawning completely. So after that I actually went to bed with a bad feeling, worrying that this might not succeed. Seven am in the next morning. I really silently went to take a look. If you look at the males, they are swimming so rapidly and fast. They are super excited, but I didn't really see any eggs yet. It looks like actually at any moment the real spawning is going to start, and that the female will start to release her eggs. It seems like she is searching for a good location in between the plants, to release some of her eggs. And yes, it is really starting now, and we are right on top of it, laying next to it, next to the spawning tank with a camera. So I enjoy some of the shots that I have taken during the spawning activity this morning.
9 a.m. in the morning now and the releasing of eggs is still ongoing. I can see the female belly is still bloated. A lot of more eggs will most likely come. And actually at this moment of time I barely see any eggs in the plants. If you look closely here you can find a few eggs in the plants, but not really a lot. I think thousands probably to come. It is already 1 p.m. now and actually it all became a little bit more silent. Actually if you look at the males they are still chasing around at the bottom of the spouting tank. They are still excited but it looks like the female is done. So let's see some of the results. Because I think we have plenty of eggs it seems like. And at the bottom we have way more eggs. It is now also the time to remove the parent koi from the spawning tank. And we do that mainly for the reason that the parents start eating the eggs just right away after spawning. There is also a second reason and that is that probably the water quality is really poor by now. So a lot of ammonia is released in the water during spawning. So it's also better to release the koi and put them back into their own pot. But first have a look here at the bottom of the tank. These are all eggs as well. The ones that did not get attached to the plants or the spawning brushes that we created. And also look at how small the female koi here at the bottom of the tank is. Her complete body is vanished and, and she is as slim as the males at this moment of time. Do you want to see more from this breeding project? Then subscribe to About Koi and stay tuned for the next series. And it really is too difficult to catch a coin one-handed, so we had to turn off the camera. See you next time.